first at five, tracking the tropics, where there are now two named tropical systems in the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Paulette and Renee. Continuing an extremely active 2020 hurricane season, let's get right out to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with the very latest. Craig? Guys, the bottom line with this is neither of these storms is threatening us, so that's, let's take that off the table first. Uh, that being said, it has been a busy season and no signs of that stopping now. Let's talk about uh, Paulette and Renee. First off, there is Paulette middle of the Atlantic out there, getting a little bit better organized today, but not moving too quickly, just drifting basically to the northwest. Now, right behind Paulette is newly named Renee. This was Tropical Depression 18 this morning. Heading into the uh, Cape Verde Islands there where tropical storm warnings are in effect. And um, we're way ahead of where we should be. We're to the R storm now. And the last time we were to the R storm was in 2005. And we're beating that by 11 days. So the earliest on record to ever get to the P or the R storm. Here's both future tracks and threat cones. And you can see uh, the movement is to the northwest, both systems. Renee forecast to become a hurricane. Paulette forecast to remain a tropical storm out of the Caribbean and well, well to the east of us. Closer to home, we've seen some showers and some thunderstorms today. Still a few showers in the lower keys. Much of the rain has dried up for the time being over South Florida, but very deep tropical moisture in place. And right through at least the middle of the week, the moisture is going to be in place for more showers, thunderstorms, and even some heavy downpours from time to time. So as we go through the next several days, a limited sunshine, passing storms, the risks are going to be to mainly street flooding. And in the tropics, no threats to Florida at this time. More on what's going on out there coming up in just a bit.